Hey guys, welcome to data structure and algorithm using Java. I am Ripon Dotho. Now I am going to discuss about complete binary tree and a full tree. So let's get started. Alright, a complete binary tree is a binary tree in which every level except possibly the last level is completely filled and all nodes are as far left as possible so let's say one two three two three four five six so this is a complete binary tree why because each level is complete possibly the last level that means the last level can be not completed like this one and all nodes are as far left as possible so you can see all nodes are from the left to right so this is a complete binary tree now let's say another example this one So, is this a binary complete tree? I mean, complete binary tree? No. But this is a full tree. So, that means I can put some value, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven. So a full tree is a binary tree in which each node is either a leaf node or possesses exactly two child nodes so you can see this tree has exactly two nodes or a leaf node this is a leaf node 
this is a lip node and this is also this two is also lip node so this is a full tree now let us consider another example one this is two the question is is it is it a complete binary tree or full tree the answer is this is neither complete binary tree nor full tree because this tree does not satisfy any one of these property you can see first of all i like to compare with complete binary tree a complete binary tree in which each level possibly the last level completely filled and all nodes are from left to right so this is not from left to right so this is false and in a full tree each node is either a leap node or possesses exactly two child nodes you can see this node has only one node so this is not a full tree so now you can understand what is a complete binary tree and what is a full tree so thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and in the next i will be discussed on binary heap then i will be discussed on binary heap using array representation then finally i will be discussed on heap sort so so keep in touch and be updated